Uh, Patrick, um, just give us some examples of hope on the world of science and technology on tackling climate change. Well, I think there's, there's actually quite a lot of hope. The technologies we need are either here or are in development. So there are lots of things we've got that if we implemented now, scaled up, had all the R&D needed to sort of come with the uncertainties that were scaling up, we do that, a lot of change then takes place in terms of climate emissions. Second reason for hope is we've got a whole generation that's absolutely determined to do this, so there's behaviour change already happening right the way across the globe. And third is, I think some of the commitments at this conference are going to make a, a, a difference here in terms of getting people together. Has the UK done enough um, behaviour change? It's done a lot on technology. Has it done enough on behaviour change? Well, I think it's starting. Um, is it where it needs to be? Yeah, probably not. And, and I think um, there's more to go, but I think there's a willingness and there's an engagement taking place. That is going to be an important part of this. Lastly, what do you hope COP26 will achieve? Well, I hope we've seen a lot in the first week. There's a lot to go yet and uh, clearly what I really hope is 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Let's make sure we go for that mitigation and adaptation.